Hello, my name is Dr. Koheli and today we are going to be discussing an eye exercise to strengthen your muscles. So previously I have I've talked about how to relax your muscles using the 20-20-20 rule. Today we are going to be talking about how to strengthen your muscles. So once more, let us just dis discuss about how the eyes work. So we were not supposed to be sitting and reading textbooks all day long. We were not supposed to be sitting and just sitting in front of a screen all day long. As human beings, we are hunters and gatherers. So we are supposed to see an animal far and run after it or see some fruits on the tree and go and catch it. So this is how the eyes used to work earlier. We used to see something far and see something near and then go after it. Now this kind of eye exercise can only happen in today's day when you play sports. Say you play cricket or badminton where something is going front and back and close and far. So but how do you exercise your eyes when you don't have that kind of sports? And so how do you exercise, how do you strengthen your muscles so that they can read or see a near object for a long time? So there are two parts to this. First part is to relax your eyes sometimes to see something far. So that we've already discussed in the last video. Now this time we are going to discuss how do we strengthen the muscles to see something near for very long time. Now this exercise is very important for children who have long hours of studies and long hours of seeing a book. So what happens after a certain time the eye muscles which help to converge start to break down, start to weaken and then you start to see that they, uh, the sh uh, speed of reading goes down or they start to see double lines or they start to miss a few words or they uh, miss out some important facts because they are skipping through and they start to get tired. So these ex this exercise will help children with convergence exercises. So how does a convergence exercise work? So a lot of you might have heard the most basic convergence exercise which we call finger push-ups. What is a finger push-up? You hold out a finger, then you look close to it, then you take it far, then you look close to it. But how are you sure that you're doing it correctly? Are you really focused at the close finger? Are you really taking it back? Are you really focusing close? Because after a while, the, uh, the eyes start to not you know, concentrate. And you might just be doing a hand exercise and not an eye exercise. So for that, we have a very simple tip and that is this kind of page. You can make this at home or you can of course uh, purchase it at our clinic. So what is here is there are two circles. One is in green and one is in red and one has an L and one has an F. So when you are supposed to hold the page far from you, hold your finger up and just as you were supposed to do the finger exercises, look at your finger and then look far and look at your finger. And so what happens is that when you're looking at the finger, how do you actually know that your eyes are focused on your finger and nowhere else? Like how is it focused on the finger and nowhere else? Is because the red and the green which are far and which you are not looking at tend to join. The green and the red will join together. The L and the F will join together to form an E on this transparency and the green and the red circles will come together and form a black circle. Now let me explain the science behind how this works. So this is where your finger is. Your eyes are focused at your finger. Whenever the eyes are focused at any object, the object is formed at the macula. So this is where, this is what you're looking at. This is what you're focused at, at your finger, which is held close to you. And the, trans, the paper, which is your red and green paper is held far, but you're not focusing at that. And the image of that is formed somewhere nasally to the macula. This is exactly opposite to the last exercise, which I talked to you about, which was relaxation. So this is a convergence exercise. 
and that was a relaxation exercise. So when you are doing convergence exercises, which is focusing on your finger, which is close by, you are having uncrossed diplopia and that leads to the red and the green coming together. So how do you know you've done this exercise properly? This is a graded chart. So as you're getting it closer, you'll see that the bottom green and red start to join. And at one point when you are holding your pencil or finger close by and focused on it, you'll see that in the background, the green and the red have joined in the center to form black circles. And that is your end point. That is where you know that you finally used both the eyes and you're focusing at your finger and then keep it for five seconds. And this helps to strengthen the convergence muscles inside your eye, as well as the muscles which help to bring eyes together. So this is the kind of exercise, which you, if you do in the morning, every morning, because by evening your eyes tend to tire, you do it about 10 times in the morning. You can do it just with a finger, but that is not the best way. It's better if you have an aid, like this kind of paper, which will help you know if you're doing it the correct way. So I hope this video helped you to understand how to do a finger push-up test the correct way using an aid. Thank you.